If you've ever done any type of electric work, you know you're going to need an electric box. Now normally these come in just two varieties, plastic or metal. Now of course plastic is inexpensive, but it's also cheap. The boxes flex, these little ears can be bent and even break off. Metal boxes on the other hand might seem like an ideal solution. They're fireproof, but they do of course require grounding, which means an extra wire needs to be installed inside of every box. But what if I told you a company came up with something better? A box that combines the strength and flammability resistance of metal, but with the ease of use of plastic. That's exactly what you're looking at here. These are a small selection of boxes from the company Allied Molded Products, and they are made entirely of fiberglass, making these boxes stronger, nearly flame proof and they're even bigger inside than the exact same sized electrical box if it was made of plastic. Now they have been making these things since the 50s and they're specced in high durability applications where outlet boxes might take a lot of abuse but they're actually perfect for places like your house, dryer outlets, EV outlet charging boxes where an outlet box might be subject to a lot more corrosion, lots of intense heat and other things that could cause a box problems. And the price of these boxes is just a little bit more than plastic so they are definitely something you want to consider. But I don't expect you to believe me so let's get right to the test. Here I've got an electric heat gun set to its maximum setting and I'm going to apply air to the center of each box for just 30 seconds. The plastic box did not do very well, while the fiberglass is exactly the same condition it was before the test started, but let's take it a step further. Here I'm going to use a blowtorch and we'll just simply place it in the center of each box. With a flame that's over 2000 degrees, the fiberglass box barely changes at all. In fact, the only thing burning in this box are the cable holders in the back because they are made of plastic, but that still doesn't cause the box to ignite at all. The plastic box almost instantly ignited. Now you may not think this is a real test, but if you have an electrical short circuit, you can certainly have a spark that could cause a fire. But here's an even more important feature that I absolutely love. Look closely at the back of this electric box. The plastic version has to mold all of these strain reliefs right into the box. Now let's compare that single gang plastic box to a fiberglass box. The difference here is this fiberglass design molds in the metal components along with the cable strain reliefs. They don't require all that extra molding. That means the inside of the same sized box is almost 20% larger than the equivalent plastic box. Also notice on the fiberglass boxes, they have metal ears. Now these are retrofit boxes, meaning you'd put them in existing drywall, but the metal ears are gonna stand up a lot better. And if you tighten them down, they're not gonna bend off or break. They're gonna give you a much better experience. Now here's just one example of a product these guys make that is pretty unique. This is a simple box that you might install in your home during new construction. But once the drywall is done, how many times is that box set too deep in the wall? Now by itself, this might not be a big deal. You could use these spacers, but this is one of the most popular boxes for a reason. Turn the simple screw and watch the box. This can be extended up to two inches further than its original installation depth. If this was your kitchen and you were gonna add another layer of wallboard, tile, paneling, you can turn that screw and extend it even further. But these guys really are nuts about the electric boxes. They make a version for just about everything, from fan boxes, even ones that you can separate so that you can have something like low voltage network wiring on one side with high voltage outlets on another. They're also the only guys that have outlet boxes with gaskets molded right into the box. Now these are if you have a greenhouse or you just want to get rid of drafts in any type of construction. So you don't need any tapes or sealants, just install them and press the drywall right into the gasket. When you use a plastic box, you may not realize that these holes are not even threaded. The first time you put a screw in, you are creating the threads. You can kind of mess things up. The fiberglass are different. They're actually pre-threaded at the factory. So when you put the screws in the very first time, they are completely smooth. New construction boxes start at just over a dollar a piece. Even the complicated boxes at most sell for about 20% more than a plastic box. But if cost is the number one priority, they also produce plastic boxes as well. They're not as durable as fiberglass, but they've got gaskets and all sorts of innovative features. And it's definitely a company to check out and you are supporting a US company. If you try even just one of these boxes out, you'll never go back to using cheaper boxes again. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Silver Symbol channel for more videos coming up.